You have one boss when it comes to trading, and it's not who you think it is. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and today we're gonna to be talking about respecting the market. You have one boss when it comes to trading and it's not, in my case, I would have said it was my wife, but obviously um, I do work with my wife as an accountability partner, but we'll talk about that later. One of the things that you need to really understand is that the, you need to respect the market. The market is the boss and anytime you show the market disrespect or you show lack of discipline or a carefree attitude or you're playing with the market's money, the market will severely reprimand you and remind you that it is your boss. And what that boils down to are the three M's and the number one thing is money management. Traders search endlessly for trade identification strategies and they will system jump over and over again. They'll change time frames they'll look for the holy grail of trading and i've i've been guilty of this i keep re re reviewing this and talking about this over and over and over again the number one thing why traders usually blow up is some emotional impulsive or irrational letdown that causes them to sabotage themselves with their money management rules forex is leveraged and the number one razor's edge that cuts deep is when traders violate their money management rules. The, one of the biggest challenges we have as retail traders is that we feel like we have this advantage of using the leverage to have these accelerated compounding growths. And you see all this idiocy on the internet about, you know, all these different types of trading instruments where somebody's making so much a day and, you know, 10% a day or whatever these things are. And if that was the case, within about a month's time or two months time, you would have the entire globe's money supply. Now, so that's ridiculous. Those strategies are a sure recipe for destroying yourself financially or your trading account. But when I'm talking about the money management side of things, you know, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you have to have a hardened, concrete approach that's going to not only ensure your survival, but limit and, and manage your downside on every single trade. I, I say this over and over again, and I say this because I need to hear it as well. Every single trade that you take is just another trade. And what that means is that no matter how high of a probability you think that you have in your next trade setup, it has no greater um, <clears throat> success rate of being profitable than any other trade that you're taking. And when you realize that, you'll be prepared to take the same amount of risk, whether it's 1%, half a percent, 2%, 3%, whatever your um, trade expectancy and your money management rules dictate for you to do. Now, there's going to be people that disagree with that. But ultimately, if you have, you know, if you're compounding your results or you're doing something to continuously leverage those results in the next trades, ultimately, you're going to hit a trade that just doesn't work out. And you're either going to take larger than expected loss or you're going to engage in in again the irrational illogical impulsive deer in the headlights emotional trade activity uh, that will ultimately end up in a massive loss probably to your trading account the number one rule about trading is manage your risk you're a risk manager what however you want to define it the number one aspect of successful trading is managing the downside money management methodology and your your mindset how you're going to manage that process um, and executing that trading system flawlessly doesn't matter if you read peter brandt brent penfold uh you know any of the any of the successful traders who have stayed in the game and lots of successful traders have blown themselves up even after making significant financial gains in the industry seasoned professionals your, your greatest drawdown is still in front of you. So respect the market. It's a stern taskmaster. Um, you know, most of the biggest trading scandals have happened to traders after they have had a two or three year massive winning streak. 
So I cannot emphasize enough. And again, when I make these videos, a lot of the things that I hash over and over again is, are mistakes that I have made myself and I have made them more than once. But I also do this because I need to hear it again myself. And I review this in my daily routine and my preparation. Uh, I've got a, a, a scroll of affirmations that I go through just to reiterate and remind myself of where I'm moving towards and where I don't want to go back to. So if you haven't done so, go to my homepage, get my seven step daily routine for high performance traders. It's about ritualizing all these things into your psyche uh, and bulletproofing yourself to, to not only build your confidence, but your discipline and a winning mindset to master the markets. You know, if you go and read or listen to any of the podcasts with Peter Brandt, uh, Brent Penfold, any of the Turtles, Jerry Parker, um, you know, Edwards and McGee, Schwabacher, uh, go read Unbeatable Mind by Mark Devine. This material, you'll realize, that, you know, it's all about mastering yourself. Trading mastery is a journey and it's, it all boils back down to some really simple concepts. I've always said this trading itself is easy. Um, but it's managing yourself and mastering yourself. That's the hard part. So hopefully you got some value out of today's video traders Respect the markets Stay focused stay disciplined have a great trading week and may the markets go with you Hi traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke trading if you haven't done so please head over to my website at StacyBurkeTrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them just click on the blog if you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.